2023 is the last chance for Armenia to sign a peace treaty, said Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev during a press conference yesterday. The Azerbaijani leader made a number of threats against Armenia. He stated that he hoped for a peace treaty to be signed by 2022's end, adding that Armenia is probably waiting for some geopolitical changes to occur. Aliyev went on to say that the events of the 2020 war and the 2022 September attack by Azerbaijan show, as he said, Said that the salvation of those drowning rests with the drowning themselves. In terms of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, a border commission has been set up by both sides to work towards delimiting and demarcating the border. Aliyev remarked that if Armenia does not want to see a process of border delimitation, then the border will pass where we see fit. Another statement which caused alarm was about the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Nagorno-Karabakh. President Aliyev stated that the peacekeepers will leave in 2025 when their mandate ends. In the November 9, 2020 trilateral statement which ended the 2020 war, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Russia agreed to the deployment of Russian peacekeepers for a period of five years. The sides agreed that they could stay longer, however, if no side objected after five years. With regards to the EU civilian mission deployed to the Armenian side of the border in the aftermath of the major attack by Azerbaijan on Armenia in September, the prospect of a new mission, which is being discussed in Brussels and Yerevan, was described by Aliyev as a very unpleasant event, calling it unhelpful for the region's security. As for the Karabakh blockade, which has now passed the one-month mark, Aliyev said the following, For those who want to live there under the flag of Azerbaijan, all the conditions, rights and securities will be ensured for them as citizens of Azerbaijan. And if someone does not want to become a citizen of Azerbaijan, the Lachin Corridor is open. They can leave. No one will prevent that. As for Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's announcement yesterday that due to the situation in Armenia, military drills of the Russian-led CSTO alliance will not take place in Armenia, the CSTO's press secretary responded today and told Russian state media outlet TASS that the CSTO understands the situation and why it may prevent the drills. However, the secretariat of the CSTO also reported that the Armenian side did not officially notify the alliance about their decision to cancel the drills in accordance with the alliance's procedures. Pashinyan and Aliyev's comments came on the back of a cabinet reshuffle in Nagorno-Karabakh. Aram Sarkisyan was appointed Minister of Urban Development, Armen Mangasaryan was appointed Minister of Social Development and Migration, and Sergei Khazaryan was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs, replacing David Babayan. Finally, you can catch an interview with CivilNet contributor Digran Krikoryan, who sat down to discuss the ramifications of Azerbaijan's blockade of Nagorno-Karabakh. Krikoryan explains what exactly Azerbaijan wants from the Armenian sides, the current state of negotiations, and whether the Russian peacekeeping contingent in Karabakh is unable or unwilling to lift the blockade.